My weed is Purple Nut Sed, um, and the common name is Purple Nut Sed, of course, and then the botanical name is Cypress Rotondus, and it's named after that because of the tubers that grow on the roots. And what tubers are is um, it grows from rhizomes, and um, I have this picture I painted so I could kind of personally explain to you each part of the plant. And so what happens is these little tubers grow on here, and then they'll shoot out. So see how they attach here? There's tubers will form here, and then other ones will shoot out, and then they'll grow up from there and from there. So this, they don't find a lot of seeds in purple nut sedge, and that's why there's such a big problem, is because of these tubers that may have anywhere from one to five to a hundred plants come off just one tuber, you never know. And it's under the ground, and unless you get a tuber, you're not gonna get the whole plant. It's just gonna come right back up. And so it's very, very intense. So what it is, is it's a nut sedge, and a lot of people think it's a grass because it grows similar to grass, but it's not a grass. So what it does is it starts right here as an immature plant, and it starts to grow, and um, it just starts shooting off little shoots, and then the middle flowering areas comes up, and this is like triangular here, and then eventually the flower, which is called the spiklets, it will um, form up on the top, and that's like a purplish red color usually, and if seeds are on there, there will be, but a lot of times they won't germinate or they won't, they, they're not found, they just die and then they, the next offspring will grow from the tubers that are down the soil. Um, so the thing about this plant is it's considered the world's worst weed um, by a lot of people. It's originally from Eurasia, More, some people say it's specifically from India, but most of the um, people say Eurasia area, so this could be that, that whole area anywhere from Europe all the way to India, and so it's a widespread area. So, But now it's in 70 countries, so it's all over the world, and so that's why they call it the World's Worst Weed, because it's literally all over the world, and it's very hard to kill. There's actually only three um, types of uh, herbicides that can kill it. Um, and they're Solicum, Roundup, and Sandia. And then partial is Epitam, Pursuit, and Raptor. And there's over 30 different uh, herbicides that don't even work. So they don't have any control at all. So that's also one of the reasons it's probably so bad. And so interesting thing about this is it has a similar plant that's just like it um, that's called yellow nut sedge, and that's what we find more here than we do purple nut sedge. I actually went looking for it, but I found more yellow nut sedge. I didn't find a lot of purple here, but it does play Arizona and California areas, and um, and you can eat the tubers of the yellow nut sedge, but you can't eat the tubers of purple nut sedge because they're very bitter. So that's what kind of I thought was interesting, like it's in the same family, but very different characteristics and this one will only get to about one foot whereas yellow nut sedge will get to three feet and the you'll tell the difference because the, the top spiklets are um, a lot more lighter so they're like a lighter yellow red color than they are of the purple ish color so that's kind of a distinction and they're a lot higher so you can distinguish between the two um, it's a perennial perennial but it here and in the California area, it is a summer irrigated annual. So pretty much if it's irrigated, it's going to grow. So that's something very interesting I found. So we can pretty much find it all the time.